I never realized that you guys wasn't on Def Jam. Yeah, Rush. I always, I always identified. Everybody still we was on Def Jam. So how we did were this? Def Jam. Who wore the coats? We yo, right. Yeah, we were, just what I'm trying to say. Exactly. Like, from from Because when it happened, what 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 it happened? Um, I think Dr. Dre, our Dr. Ed Dre, Lovell, Ed Lovell, Dr. Ed Dre, Lovell yeah. was in the room when Russell went to go start Def Jam, and it was basically okay. Mr. Simmons, you know, we know you're Curtis managing and part. Why should we give you a record deal? Mm-hmm. All he did was just show a picture of the three baddest things in existence at the time. We were, we, but we was never able to get on Def Jam. Because world, understand, we were signed to Profile Records. Right. Profile, Y'all yeah, remember yeah, this yeah, before yeah. the albums? Yeah. This is profile on Profile this Records. Is like exactly. Yeah, right there, profile. So we was always on Profile Records. And that, so... So it was Rush Management. We was man, right. Which eventually became Rush Management, became Violator? Or? Uh, no, I don't think so. Is that years? So. It's years? Okay. Right. So, so, Violator became a part of, of the Rush Def Management. Jam, yeah, that right. whole thing. But right. Randy MC was always on Profile Records. We right. came out on Profile Records with right. his like that circumcise. Okay. Put the record out, it hit, it worked. All right. Suck him seeds. Now, a lot of people think it was, um, well, Rockbox was the first hip hop video on MTV. MTV. Yes. And it wasn't Walk This Way, it's a tongue twister. Walk This Way, the first rock rap record isn't Walk This Way. The first rock rap record is Rockbox, which is a thing mm. to put hip hop on MTV. But y'all record Rockbox. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. But what okay, I'm trying okay. to say is, okay. our, um, our um, di- our abilities started with Sucker MCs because if you remember hip hop, right. everything was very musical. Right in the beginning right. of hip hop, a lot of bands right. playing. That Everybody music. would just sample the hot re- record on the radio. Yeah. Right. Oh, let's do heartbeat. Right. The R and B record, this and that. When Randy MC came along, we didn't use Good Times. Right. We didn't mm-hmm. use Ring My Bell. Right. We fucking came with boom, tet, 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 and just a beat. Mm. And I remember that year the record dropped, hating my own record. What? Because everywhere I went, don't fuck about childhood now. Me. Wait, what, which record? That's this. this, 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 this is my childhood now. Be careful. So what you was doing is what I was doing for the treacherous three and the funky four. Those were the records that I want to hear. I don't want to hear my shit. Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? So when my records started playing more than bands and Flash, it hurt. It bugged me up. Run knew what was going on because what people don't know, Run was a professional rapper at 15. He was the son of Curtis Blow. Right. Run saw the business that exists from the inside, now right. in his living yeah, room. Right. As a kid, he would come downstairs and Curtis sleep on the chair. Jimmy Spice's over there, Houdini's over there, Grandmaster Flash. And Queens, the is, Queens in the and crib? And Queens, because Russ, who oh. was Russ, Russ, Rush Productions, mm. was a p- party. He was a party promoter. Right, right. And he would hire Flash and Bam. He was, so Run saw hip hop. What what the world is seeing now, Run saw that in his right. living room before right. Rappers Delight dropped. On a so Run level. was there. So Run knew the business and this and that. Run knew entertainment show business. Me, I'm just a fucking kid <laughs> hearing this hip hop shit. Right. Me and Run, Run, me and Run didn't meet until eighth grade. We didn't grow up together. Wow. My, my best friend growing up was this guy named Douglas Hayes. Okay. That's who I ran with. Okay. And that's how I met Jay, and that's how I met Hurricane. Jam Master Jay. So you met Hurricane. Jam Master Jay before you met Run? Yes. Okay, continue. I met DJ Jam Hurricane. Master Jay through DJ Hurricane. Oh, wow. Who was MC Hurricane down with Davey D and had a group called Solo Sounds mm. out wow. in Queens. Wow. So, but the thing growing up, the way, what, what Run DMC is was how Jam Master Jay and Hurricane was dressing in high school. Ooh. Kane and, and Jay was going to school with the Godfather hats mm-hmm. and the Martinecks and the Adidas and the leather blade in high school. Right. <laughs> you, like, you, you, so you, that's where our style came. But what, what I wanted to say about okay. Sucker MCs, yeah. when Sucker MCs dropped, mm-hmm. it was the game. And a lot of people in hip hop say, yeah, that's true. It was the game take because it was just the beat. It was the tape. Right. 
We didn't want to do records. We wanted to, we, me and Ron had this thing, we make beat jams. Mm. Mm. We make what's on the Harlem World tape. Mm. We make what's they doing in the T Connection. In the, you know what I'm saying? So when Sucker and Seas came, it was a game changer. Right. And then everybody said, oh, wow, you can do, because the, the, the greatest hip hop rappers in history, mm. the greatest period in hip hop is the history before recorded rap. Now, I can say that because I lived it, I understand. Are you talking mixtape rap? No, wait, like the park jams? The park jams, yeah. yeah, yeah like that's that. before rappers okay. alike. Okay. Before right. we okay. started making records, mm-hmm. that was the best period okay. of hip hop, which nobody even cares about. Now, they didn't even right. bring that shit up during the 50th year mm-hmm. celebration of hip hop. Because right. mm-hmm. think about it 50th celebration hip hop only celebrated record making motherfuckers. Right. right. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't. Not even yeah. fully celebrate. All the it wasn't. Either. It wasn't the fiftieth anniversary. It wasn't. The 50, oh, they said it was. It wasn't. And, and I can say this. It wasn't the fiftieth anniversary of hip hop. It was the fifty anniversary of recorded recorded rap. records. Go back and look at all the things. And that And Crazy like said that on it here. He said that. It yeah. wasn't about DJing, MCing, breakdancing, graffiti, and the whole fat, like the whole shit. So this is what I'm talking about. You said it wasn't or it was. About it wasn't. It was. It was only about motherfuckers that make records. He said your, fifty years. Oh, you talking about all the, the celebration of it? Is oh, look only- what happened in the Bronx. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? I want to see the fantastic fucking five. Right. right. We talk about the, um, the, 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 the stadium. The party I did. Then yeah, we yeah, shut yeah, it yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah I ain't gonna lie. I, I so, didn't want to go. I was so happy. I was so happy watching y'all right. perform together. Right. How long was that since y'all performed together s- since? No, we was doing shows here. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I, we I wasn't was seeing it. We Run DFC was only doing festivals. Okay. Because so I heard a rumor that, that you guys wouldn't perform together since Jam Master J had passed. Or... We didn't want to. Okay. But some of the checks were very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, 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 you know yes. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was it. But what I wanted to say about Sucker City, it was just about making beat jams. And um, we wanted to do, when we came in hip hop, we knew we had a responsibility mm-hmm. for this. Anything that is holy or sacred to a nation or community or, 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 or people will get diluted, polluted, and destroyed mm. once it's commercialized. Right. And a lot of the commercialization of that is very good. It's, mm. You know what I'm saying? Financially and this and that, mm. for the expansion of it. MTV and us being on records aided in the expansion of hip hop. Right. But if there was no music business, we still had hip hop. Right. Mm-hmm. So when right. Run DMC and Jam Master J showed up, we wasn't thinking, yo, let's have hip records and get money and this and that. Run was doing it a little bit because mm. you see how you bend these and yeah. stuff like that. But our things was to be the best DJs and MCs that people would ever see mm. forever. Right. Why? Because the people before us, that art form. The Melly Mel's. The that, right. Classic. You see, everybody only knows Melly Mel for the message. Mm-hmm. Right. But I got tapes right. of Melly Mel and Scorpio wow. when he was Mr. Ness wow. rhyming like me and run. Can we borrow wow. this thing? Nobody <laughs> knows Melly Mel was Melly, M-E-L-E, M-E-L, or Melly Mel, y'all, a rock well with echo chambers and Ooh. flash drop and beats Whoa. and shit. So y'all don't, nobody knows yeah. that. Wow. I know that. <laughs> Wow. That's all this record making shit don't excite me. So what you had to fucking use your triple platinum. That shit don't mean nothing because you didn't play Harlem World, motherfucker. Wow. So me wow. and Run came from that. We said we're going to do And that ate it in our success. Wow. Everything right. we did was, we was imagining it was a cassette recording of us live. Wow. Wow. So we wanted to make rhyme routines. So when we did Suck Him Seas, it gave permission to everybody to, oh, shit. Right. We don't got the first rappers are the greatest rappers ever, but what was their flaw? They had no rappers to look up to. Mm. So when the first rappers got into the music, you got to understand what happened to our culture. Mm. We were a culture that is eternal, that never changes, that innovates and gets better and better as we grow. Right. Not that shit when you're 35 and 40, you can't rap. No. Is anybody going to go to Stevie Wonder no. right. and say, Stevie, um, you're 50 now, you can't sing? Right, no. Uh. Is anybody going to go to um, um, Patti LaBelle and say, excuse me, Patti, you're 50, you can't? Or Mick Jagger neither. The Rolling Stones are going to have a fucking right. tour when they die. Yeah, when they, they die, die they're going to come out the grid and go on road. <laughs> Them niggas 105 so we right now. Knew, right. So <laughs> we knew mm-hmm. that... Before the, the shit that was going on that we were doing before Rappers Delight, that's the fucking, that shit right. is fucking eternal. They can never take that shit from us. Right. So we said, we're going to do that shit on records. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing that made Run DMC. Jay never used the DAT machine. 
They never, they, 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 it was, when we played Live Aid, motherfuckers, that shit was vinyl right. on the turntables and us <laughs> rhyming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, from Sucker the Seas, right now, you can't even hold it. Seas to, to fucking Jam Master J when we did Hard Times. Right. It's like that was Russell in the business. You gotta make a commercial right. record. Uh-huh. It's like, so what we did with It's Like That, we took, because if you remember, the message came out first. So the message right. was the message. Mm. It's like a jungle sometimes, broken glass right. everywhere. Yeah. But after that, hip hop was able to say, we can take y'all to where y'all need to go. So Bam and I'm so Sonic Force and um mm-hmm. So Sonic for Africa Band by the So Sonic Force, they made Planet Rock. Right. Mm. So when we made us like that, we said, you know what? We tired of shit being separate. Let's put the message and the vision of Planet Rock. We know a place where everybody's eating and it's safe. Let's do it in a like that. So when we did that with it, like, if you listen to Planet Rock, mm-hmm. it, we was trying to make, um, I mean, if you listen to it's like that, we was trying to make Planet Rock. Zan, 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 mm. zan. No. But we wasn't good at it. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I would have never put that yeah, there. Nobody did. Nah, nah, you got me but with that But we one. was just trying to make raw beats the way it was done in the streets. If you listen, <laughs> you know what's the key to run DMC success? Mm-hmm. I put, it was... It's like comic book Easter eggs. It was right up under your nose when we made Adidas. Right. We took the beat from the street and put it on TV. 